Where's my light? There we are. I always say that start, don't I? Back on the road, and this I absolutely love. Talk about making it happen through lockdown. So I've been recommended this place uh, called Smokey and the Bandit. Tex-Mex smoked meats, tortillas, fresh handmade tortillas, which I'll show you when I get um, when I get it. So I've got ribs, chicken, potato salad, all the good stuff, all the sides. But look at this, we're hustling from home. We've got a menu in the window. It's everything through Facebook, Instagram, selling out. Does it bi-weekly? So I'll put the information below, show you what it's all about. But this is a good hustle. When you can't get out, he's got a little, um, a little homemade uh, trailer um, that he picked up for next to no money and has done it himself and he's going to tour around again once all the lockdown restrictions are lifted. Hey, once all the lockdown restrictions are lifted. So I love this hustle. They're doing it from home. There's already been customers coming in here. He said he's nearly sold out and we are literally not even 7 p.m. Nearly selling out. Here we go. Action. Oh, I just pulled over. Sorry, a bit closer. Look, I've got a whole bag of stuff. Whole bag of stuff sorted me out as well so much love so give me two of these little cornbreads and he said you gotta try these I love a cornbread and he says these are gonna be absolutely delicious <laughs> he said he's eating like five or six of these already today and I was gonna break a bit off the top so these are oh, you can smell that fresh butter on top baked with the cheese in it and I think there's some sort of spice in here as well Oh my goodness. Wow. Talapino in there. Hmm. Talapino in there, but it's not spicy. Talapino in there, but it's not spicy. You taste that. Oh man, I'm gonna eat all of those. So we got here. So, you do need to take this home and reheat it, but I'm just gonna do it. So you so said this is gonna take another 10 to 12 minutes in the oven, but I'm just gonna try a portion of the ribs, just to bite in. So look at these, big slabs of ribs. Oh man. In the beard? Yeah. Mm. Perfectly smoked, soft meat. Loads of it. Big old ribs. The barbecue sauce on here. That's ridiculous. That is unbelievably good. Look how much food I got in here, it's amazing. And also, oh I can't even get it back in. Inside of wings. Now if you saw my other video where I had wings the other day, at the Funky Pickle, it's another Canadian, but raised in, uh, in Texas, so knocking out the Tex-Mex style barbecue. Good. Smoked meats and barbecue sauces. Also knocking out great smoked wings. that barbecue sauce barbecue sauce man look at this this is how you should eat barbecue mm. taste is unbelievably good mm, right put the lid back on that I cannot wait to get that back and uh, fire that up in the oven so it takes 10 to 12 minutes 180 degrees in the oven. Oh, I can't get the lid back on. This is good viewing, isn't it? Right, let's catch up in a sec with some more. I'm just finding barbecue sauce in my beard. So next up in here, chicken enchiladas with the cheese. And these are homemade, hand-pressed corn flour tortillas inside got what looks like a bit of the Oaxacan cheese. 
onions, beans, chicken. Big bits of chicken as well. I'm gonna fire in a bit of this. Wah. Oh, my beard? Oh, okay. Ten out of ten. Not even gonna bother trying to to big it up. Ten out of ten. The flavour in these. Oh man. It's the cheese and the beans. One of my fans. Oh man. These homemade. Homemade hand pressed tortillas. Absolutely out as well. That is complete flavour town glory. To quote my old mate Guy Fieri, shut the front door. There you go. Cheese in the beard. Now in the car. And again, take these home and bake them up. That cheese gets all melty in there. And I like what he's done here. Look. An idea of how. How long things take. Back in again. Another portion of chicken and ribs, my goodness. And then barbecue sides. Oh man, so we got a big slab of watermelon. Coleslaw, potato salad. Oh, it's like proper potato salad as well. It's got egg in it. That's the best way to do potato salad. And red cabbage slaw. Let's try a bit of that. Didn't bring any cutlery, but. Pickled red cabbage. Man. These guys are making some rocking home barbecue. And here, there's bits of jalapeno in the potato salad. There's definitely some egg in there. Maybe some dill. Or some mustard seeds, I can see. That is unbelievable. That is unbelievable. I. That is unbelievable. It's going to take a minute. I'm just thinking about all the other potato salads I've had in my life. I'm sorry, this is the best, the absolute best potato salad I've ever had. Just gonna go for another bit, I'm eating it with my hands like a savage. Like I'm back in India. Mmm, mmm. Um, yeah, to all you other potato salads out there, baking it. Nah, man. How are we going here? That's oh, my enchilada garnish. Not going to go into too much detail with this stuff, but I'm going to try a little bit of the hot sauce. Because he said it is absolute firepower. So let's see if I can just dip my finger in here. See how I blow my head off. Whoa. That is absolute firepower. I mean, delicious. Then you got a nice little like pico de gallo and I assume that's some sour cream in there. Look, as I said, this is good hustle street food. This is Smokey and the Bandit. I'm a, I didn't say where I was, I'm Bad Shot Lee. He's doing it out of his house because COVID restrictions just mean it's hard to get a place with a trailer. But bi-weekly on their Instagram and Facebook, Put the details below. Knocking out some unbelievable Tex-Mex barbecue. You have gotta have, just get one of everything. Just get the ribs, get the chicken, get the enchiladas, get the lot, get it all. Share it if you have to. This is how you do street food during a pandemic. Get it in your house. It's got a smoker in the back. I forgot to mention that, it's got a full-size smoker in the back. The guys are killing it. The guys are absolutely killing it. Loving it. So, Smokey and the Bandit, 
put the details below. Bad shot about an hour outside of London. Peace out.